here we are. One more race to determine who's going to go into the final round. Green flag waves for Henry Nova. He's going to get a great start. As we got Harrison Ponder now looking. Oh, but Henry over or dive bombs, Ma kicks it in maximum overdrive. Sorry about that. He kicks it in maximum overdrive. He's going to take the lead, heading up the S's. Right now, the top five are the 38, Katie Elizabeth running seventh. Chris Washer in the number three, running 31st. Kyle Thomas in the 45, running around 29th, and he's in a little hole right now. Him and uh, Chris Washer. As I was just about to look, there's John Skavnicki. There's Ash Curtis, though. Ash Curtis running right there, so we got a lot of mid pack drivers all trying to battle for all. Five spots. That's your top five. Let's check on um, Road America winner or Canadian Tire winner uh, Charlie Fibrosis and uh, Nick Smith in the 16 running. F oh, ooh, and we have a caution actually. It looks like Nick Smith and Daisy Mills may have been in it. Let's take a look as we were looking at our. Uh, at our, um, what do you call it? At our drivers in the top 10. As we have a little check up here. Let's take a look at what happened at the caution. So it started out actually in turn one. Let's go a little bit farther up. Uh, I did not get quite what happened. I think, yeah, right here. They're just, they were three wide and I don't know. Oh, Kenny Bale gets into Cavanaro. And then, oh, wow. Heavy damage. Nick Smith did not get a wreck avoidance cam today. So we'll take you back to the green flag. It's actually to see if anyone pits. Let's take a closer look. I'm going to get in depth in this race to see what goes on. And yes, we are having pit stops. It's going a little further. Who stays out? Somebody's staying out. That's Charlie Fibrosis. Unfortunately, did not lead a lap. I think is a... Uh, Logic of trying to lead a lap, and Harrison ponders the first one out. We'll take you back to the green flag. So, one lap cautions that we're still trying to get situated. Oh, no! No, no! Mark Cavanaro with a header issue. That's going to be heartbreaking right there. That's That takes him out of contention, unfortunately. That technically leaves nine drivers. Out of and then in five spots to see what they can do. It's here goes Robert Ponder the inside, but Preston Plore tries to make it three wide. They did not take tires from what I saw. It was a quick pit stop, it's a quick uh, splash and go. Fibros is trying to hold the lead, hoping that they have another caution so we can go down pit road with everybody else. Will the strategy work out? And as we were saying, we were about to go down to Mark Cavanaro, but unfortunately he's down pit road. Let's check on the number six of Joe Davis. Running 20th right now. And then finally Daisy Mills, who was actually involved in that wreck, running in the back. And Skavnik, he's back there too. We have a few guys in the dirt. Let's check out in front here. No caution. And wow, I guess they fixed the, they fixed the 20 car. Thought he'd be out of the race, but he will be one lap down. There's fibrosis. And still needs to come down pit road. Never pit under that last caution. They're basically all on the same tires. So no advantages otherwise. Just the fuel advantage. Fibrosis is starting to pull away here. Let's, let's, let's check the margin of each lap. And Cavanaro, they're actually fixing the left side of the car. I guess something happened when they were doing their pit stop. And I they think that's what happened. Something's smoking under the left side. They've been on that left side for quite a while now. And we have Fibrosis somewhat overdriving the inner loop there into the carousel. Still green. I don't know if this is what Fibrosis is actually looking for. This is definitely not what he was looking for. And this, and if they do pit under the green flag, this will change everything. 
Febros is not coming in this time around. The highest running chaser is Katie Elizabeth. Where's Chris Washer? Where's Kyle Thomas? Where's the whole field? Oh my god. Okay, sorry, I won't ever do that again. Where's Chris Washer? That's Zach Chambers. Oh, Skabnicky's back here. Chris Washer running 26. This is going to change everything. Uh, Kyle Thomas in the 45. Where's he? 24th. Skabnicky, we saw back in 40th. Ash Curtis running up in tw back in 28th. Fibrosis, the leader. Let's check on Nick Smith in the 16. Running 34th. Uh, Mark Cabanaro down pit road. Had to retire. Said, nope, no deal. Can't do anything there. Can't do anything about that as, oh boy, Ash Curtis gets way into the uh, bus stop interloop thingy. My bopper. And Joe Davis running 22nd and Daisy Mills, not even close, running 35th. So basically it's just that if fibrosis stays out, which I will highly doubt, if he stays out, that will be crazy. As Look at this, Harrison Ponder's catching him too. He knows he has to save fuel, fibrosis does, but now... They, I think they all have to save fuel. They will have to come down one more time due to the uh, pit windows they do have. Let's we'll see if Fibrosis... Oh no, but Ponder and Plore do big time. Here's Henry Nova and Gabe Williams. Katie Elizabeth is almost locked in now. Remember, she was actually off of race two due to a massive penalty in race one of affecting the finish of the Pigs Creek 499. We still had no caution, so this is not going Charlie's way. Or it's not really going anyone's way. As they probably want a caution to pit so they can uh, take fuel. He's looking for us. He's way loose. So you got a battle for second here. Plored and Ponder. They're both not running, but Plord's actually uh, just for the fun points, if I call him. He's running third, so I think uh, I think he thinks he's still in contention for the championship. <laughs> but Ponder's going to lose another position. And look at Skabnicki running 40 at first now. Not a good day for the 15. Not the conditions they expected. They were running in clear weather and about 80 degrees. And they're running right here about 60 and cloudy. So they did not expect the track to be like this. So definitely unexpected for the 15 team. That could take them out of contention. And with the 15 team winning the first race of the season, the tradition besides season three. It's been a tradition. If you win the Pigs Creek 499, you're winning the title. That is not the case for um, the Pigs Creek 499 winner right now. John Skabnicki running 41st. But it's usually been a two-time winner who's won because Zach Buchanan was a multiple-time winner. So was Preston, but Dylan Young because we had the little uh, chase change issue. And then this season, we're gonna see if a, a two-time winner, which the only ones that are in, that are in the chase are Chris Washer, uh, uh, blah, 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 Fibrosis, uh, and uh, that's it. And oh yeah, Mark Cavanaro. But right now, it doesn't look like none of them are gonna get their way. And besides Fibrosis, Fibrosis is keeping his fuel window. I think he's way past his fuel window. Did not even pit. But Plord's catching him. He knows. He knows this, uh, Fibrosis has the save. And Fibrosis is coming down pit road this time. This will give Preston the lead. Will they have enough fuel? I don't think anyone else is coming down. I was going to say, he's stretching the fuel window. This will be crazy if uh, none of these guys can make it. But Plord has a nice lead over Harrison Ponder and Henry Nova. She got... Three Fords and two Dodges in the top five. Doges. He. And so is Cabanaro coming out in pit road, too. 
Guess he's, uh, I don't know what that was all about. The Plord running a good race here and knows that he can get an easy win as long as he does not screw up any turn. As long as he doesn't uh, have to pit either. I, I believe we will be going green the rest of the way, so. Definitely not what we uh, expected. We expected a couple cautions to have some good racing towards the end. Let's take, uh, let's take a look at all of our uh, chasers once again. Get a little update as they are coming down pit road. As I say that, they are coming down pit road. Who's staying out? Oh, a little contact. Mary Stevens gets the wall. Who's going to stay out? Skavnicki! How about that John Skavnicki? Trying to pull off the upset. Riding in the back all race long. As everybody's coming down pit road besides Skavnicki. Literally. I don't know if he's trying to do that or I don't know. I think he tried doing the same thing. He tried to lead a lap, but it did not work. I think I'll lead one this time around, though. I think he's trying to save. Look how slow he's going for uh, for how this how the conditions are and everything. As there are coming down pit road, the pit uh, pit strategy is flee four tires and fuel. Or no, left sides only and fuel. And the first one out is Harrison Ponder. But Plord is way out in front, actually. And everyone coming down pit road. Very slow. We're going to check on Skavnicki to see if he's going to be the f an, in first and not take a pit stop. Oh, and he is coming down pit road. Is that a strategy? Coming down by yourself so you're not in any trouble. So we're going to watch him. Preston Plord is, uh, I guess, the leader as of right now. They're trying to find him, actually. There he is. And Skavnicki has not crossed the line yet, so there he is. Right in front of the line. And they're coming up on him. Skavnicki needs to go, go, go. This could be Plord or Fibrosis. Like you said, a win, and you automatically make it. And it's Plord and Fibrosis second and third. And they make, oh, they almost make contact there. Skavnik is still not coming out, but he is going to gain some track position. I th no, Oh, wait. This pit cycle is confusing now. He's still, he's named the leader by 12 seconds, and we have more takers down pit road once again. Kyle Austin, Nick Smith, and Cassandra Renzi. Plord, what is up with him now? Where's Skavnicki? Oh, and Shelly gets into Katie Elizabeth. Is the caution out? Yes, it is. Who's going to be the leader? They're saying Skavnicki's the leader, but I don't know. Shelly off track. I don't know who's the leader. We gotta check it back around. We know what happened in the caution. I don't know. I don't know. And no, they're, they're putting Fibrosis the leader. So Charlie Fibrosis is gonna take it the checkered flag. And Skavnicki falling way back. He's gonna take a 15th. 16th is what they're recording. So, a we'll rebound there. His fibrosis is is uh, called the winner because since the caution flag comes at lap 13, we will not have a green, white, checkered, or a one-lap dash. Katie Elizabeth makes it in. Uh, I believe Skavnicki's the next one, so Skavnicki locks out and makes it to the next round to fight for the championship. So his hopes are still alive. Chris Washer's hopes are still... <laughs> <coughs> Three straight, four straight chasers. You got Kyle Thomas. I don't know how this race is going to end. Nick Smith, 41st. His day is done. So let's take a... Uh, making sure nobody has to pit on the last lap, and they will not. 
As the white flag is out for fibrosis. As this pace lap is taking forever. And coming off the final turn, fibrosis is now locked into the final round with a win. He will come around at 40 miles an hour and take the checkered flag and they get in all the way. Touchdown Titans. So he's going to come around. He led the most laps. It doesn't matter if he led the most laps. He's into the next round with two extra points. And then everybody else with this win, he takes the checkered flag. Whee! So now, Fibrosis probably has a lot of, uh, lot of pressure on his back now. Uh, after winning this race. To see what he can do to win the championship. Now he's two extra spots, technically, ahead of the rest of the field. So what's going to happen? We'll see you guys then for the final race of season number four. Almost here to season five. We'll check to see who's going to be into the next round with Charlie Fibrosis. We'll see you guys then. Thank you all for watching, as I always mention. And we'll see you guys at Las Vegas for the final race to crown a champion.